Hey there, I'm Adrian Lindine, and I'm one of the co-founders of Beach Boss Influencers. And I'm going to talk about how to get the most results from your 2023 goals. So you're here, you've made it, and you want this year to be your best year yet. So it starts now, right? But how many of you have kind of done this before, right? You've, you've set your goals, you decide to get super organized at the beginning of the year, you know, really map out your goals. And as you are reflecting and looking through month after month, you aren't hitting the goals you want to hit inside of your business, okay? That was me for several years before I was able to effectively learn how to set goals that I could actually execute, right? And then build upon month after month. So a lot of times entrepreneurs, um, you know, set these big goals, but they don't understand what it takes in between to actually get the results that they want inside of their business. So I'm going to take you through a process uh, where I actually, and what we we do here inside of Beach Boss Influencers and mentor our students on and our community is how to reverse engineer the process so that you are actually hitting your goals and building upon those month after month, okay? So the first thing that I want you to do when you're writing down your goals for your business for this year is to come up with what you uh, want to achieve 12 months from today, okay? So we are, you know, beginning of a new year, right? And you're going to say, you know, by December of this year, this is where I want to be inside my business. Now, Keep in mind, and here's where most people, you know, fail here, is uh, it's very, they create very general goals, okay? I want you to get very specific, okay? Very specific. You know, how much volume do you want to be generating? How much income do you want to be generating? How big do you want your team to be? How, you know, how, how, how many customers do you want to be bringing in? Okay, so I want you to get very specific because if you stay too general, you won't know the action steps that it takes to hit that result, okay? And ultimately, that's what a goal is. It's a result, okay? So that's step number one, is to create a goal that you want to see 12 months from now, all right? Now, you could also break that down and give yourself, you know, kind of like a benchmark, Six months from now, this is where I want to be so that you're keeping yourself on track for that 12-month goal, right? And then from there, what we like to do is we actually like to break down our goals by 30 days, okay? And I and I get it. A lot of people are like, oh, we're going to go on a 90-day run, right? 90 days is a long time. So even breaking that down into three 30-day months is going to help you be more successful in that process, okay? So Break your goal down into 30-day increments, okay? So in my first 30 days, I want to have grown my volume, my personal volume by 1,000. I want to have brought in three new team members and five customers, okay? Now, once you are going through this process of writing down your goals, okay, I want to give you a little reality check here. Okay. A lot of times, and I'm not saying don't, don't have big, hairy, audacious goals, but that has to be, you know, down the road, right? Because it takes time to build upon one another. All right. It takes time to get to where that hairy goal, where you want to be, right? That double diamond or, or whatever that looks like. Okay. It's not going to happen in three months. Okay. So here's where a lot of times we shoot ourselves in the foot because we don't come up with goals that are realistic. Meaning, if you just got started or maybe you've put your business on the shelf or you've had a halt and a stall in your business and you're coming out the gate in 2023 saying, I'm going to enroll 10 people this month, but you've never even enrolled one. You haven't even enrolled three in one month, right? And so your goal needs to be specific, okay? It needs to be measurable. 
It needs to be achievable, okay? It needs to be realistic and you have to give it a time frame, okay? So if you haven't recruited three people in a month before, is 10 people really realistic? Now, that's not to say you're not going to get there, but let's build upon, right? Because all that is, is getting to 10. If you can get to three in a month, if you can get to one in a month, it's repeating the process and adding more numbers in because ultimately it is a numbers game. Okay. Is that making sense? So if month one, you say, I'm going to bring in one team member and three customers and you execute and you get that result. Now you'll know the activities that you need to do uh, and to, and to complete every week to get to enrolling three team members, right? And more customers to five team members. And then, and then that builds upon. Okay. So once you've written down what you want to execute in the next 30 days, okay, you're going to break it down to weekly action steps. So if in your next 30 days, you want to uh, bring on three new business builders and five customers or three customers, okay, what do you need to do? Okay. What actions does it take to bring on three new team members? What actions does it take to bring on five new customers or three new customers, right? So breaking down and knowing the numbers is crucial in this business. And it's a lot of times what people don't understand, right? They, they don't hit their goal. They think they're doing everything, right? But they're not actually tracking their business. They don't know what activity they're doing. So they can't identify the gaps inside their business. And they don't understand how the numbers work, okay? So to bring in maybe one person, how much do you need to grow your audience by? How many people do you need to be engaging with on social media? How many messenger conversations do you need to get into to close, right? How many Zoom, one-on-one Zoom chats do you need to get into to showing the business to somebody to close that one person, okay? So if you understand those numbers, you can map out literally your, your whole business and your whole success as you climb up, all right, as you climb up that ladder, okay? So if my goal is to bring in three new team members, right, and I'm not even going to talk about the customers, I need to talk to this many people a week, which means I need to connect with this many people and I need to grow my audience by this many people and I need to, you know, post every day and I need to go live this many times a week, right? Like, so it all starts to, or you're able to give yourself action steps, daily action steps that you can measure, okay? By the end of the week, you evaluate, right? And I love evaluation, Because evaluation keeps you in a logical mental state versus reacting emotionally, right? And when you react emotionally, you can start to spiral, right? Limiting beliefs can come in. You can start to sabotage your own business and it's not really healthy. So we teach evaluation every single week, right? So you broke down your week of action steps. Once you get to the end of the week, evaluate what worked. Okay, what didn't work? And actually specifically, what are three things that worked? What are two things that didn't work? And what might I change going into next week to get a different result? Okay, because maybe your result was I didn't recruit anybody, right? So I'm going to go and I'm going to evaluate and look at the gaps in my business because I'm tracking my numbers, okay? Well, I didn't post anything for three days. I didn't go live and I didn't get into any messenger conversations. There we go, right? So understanding the right activity to get the outcome, the result that you want is super crucial in your business. Now, breaking that down even more, right? So now you've mapped out your week. I want you to break down daily what you need to be doing, right? What is it that I need to be doing daily to get me to this weekly goal, right? And then I'm going to evaluate maybe make a change, do that the next week, evaluate, right? What is it that worked? What didn't? What am I going to do differently next week to get the desired outcome, to get the result that I want? Then at the end of your month, you evaluate again. You look at your numbers. You look at your daily activity, right? And these are action steps that help you grow your network, build relationships with that network, 
right? And our income producing activities to get more people across the finish line, to get more customers across the finish line and get more team members on board, right? And then at the end of your 30 days, what do you do again? You evaluate, right? What worked, what didn't? What am I going to do differently? And you map out your next 30 days, okay? This is going to keep you from going up and down like a roller coaster and flatlining for several months and then pumping yourself back up, saying, I'm going to get back on that horse, right? Then you get back on that horse for 20 days and then you see, oh my gosh, I'm not going to hit those goals that I set because they were huge and massive and I was just getting started again, right? And then you want to put that business on the shelf and now we're, we're down again, right? So you, we want to create a successful way to get the results that you want in your business every single month. And they're building upon one another so that you're getting closer and closer to your 12 month mark of where you want to be inside of your business. And it's okay if maybe that changes along the way, but that's why I had you put in, what do you want to do at six months? Because if you're very, if you're, if you're really far off at six months, you can change that goal based off of where you are. And again, when I when I went through how to create these goals, right? Being simple, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and have a timestamp on them, it is to keep us in a level-headed playing field, right? It's to keep us down in reality. Because honestly, so many of us entrepreneurs, uh, network marketers, see so many people speak from stage or hear these stories. And it seems like overnight, okay, people went from here to a six and seven figure business. And it's just not the case. And a lot of times we're not trained on how to get there, right? And how it all works to actually get the numbers and the results you want in your business. But if you follow the steps that I just gave you and you reverse engineer the process, okay, which first is the end in sight and then reverse the process of how you're going to get there, where you're breaking it down by 30-day chunks. You're breaking that into four weekly goals driven by daily activity and you're evaluating in the process. You're going to get the most results in your business than you've had before. So I hope this was valuable. If you want to really take your goals to the next level and really crush it in your business. Okay. You're going to want to grab the link below to our brand spanking new 90 day success activator. Okay. This is like the planner of all planners. Okay. This is the planner that we all had have dreamed about that every time you buy a planner, you're like, I wish it did had this. I wish it had this. And inside this planner, you're going to find these trackers. You're going to find you know, places to write out your daily action steps, how to create your goals, right? Healthy success habits for entrepreneurs. Every single day you have new tips on that. Affirmations. I mean, I mean, there's QR codes inside for you to scan and use content that we've created for you. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. So if you want, we have put this together for you to make it that much easier for you to uh, plan out your goals and your business and absolutely crush it this year, then grab the link below this video, above this video. And I cannot wait to hear, um, about your business. So thanks for hanging out and we will see you next time. Peace.